All right, this is a video to show you how to transfer the GPS data from your Garmin Astro device to a file on your computer. The program we're going to use for this is Garmin MapSource. This is a free program that Garmin provides. You may already have it. If you don't have it, you can Google it. Go to Garmin MapSource. Make sure that you have software version 6.16.3. It's the latest version. You can download it. If you download it and you find that it gives you some sort of error message about not having a, a registered version or a product installed, you can take the downloaded file, which I have highlighted here, and then you can actually unzip it with a program called 7-Zip. You just say extract here because what you've downloaded is actually a zip file, which is a compressed archive. So it's unzipping it right now. You can see all of these little files that it made. You've got this file here, which says Windows Installer Package, and you have this other one called Setup. If you run the Windows installer package first and then follow up and run setup, you'll get rid of that error message. You can always ask me if you have questions about this later. So let's assume that you have this installed and close this out. You've got the Garmin Map Source program. You want to transfer the data from your Astro. Go up to the menu, click Transfer, click Receive from Device. It'll pop up this window, and any device that's connected to your computer should appear here. So I've actually got the Astro connected to my computer right now. The USB cable is coming out the back of the Astro, and it's connected to my computer. Okay? So that's why I can find it here. I can tell it what I want it to receive. I have all these things selected. I'm going to click Receive. It tells me it's transferring stuff. And here you can tell it to turn off GPS after transfer. I'm going to leave that unchecked. So this is all the stuff that it just uh, that it just downloaded, right? So quite a bit. Usually what you're interested in are tracks. So here are all the tracks that it just downloaded. And here you can see one that I've called SAR1 AMO. That's actually one of the dog collar tracks. Okay, so the Astro system has a dog collar and a handheld. I just downloaded the data from the handheld, but I also got this dog track. How did I get that? All right, well now I'll show you how to do that. So to get data from the, the uh, collar itself, you have to mess with the handheld. So right now I've actually got it in what they call dog mode, which you can get to by pressing the dog button. Okay, so I'm pressing the dog button with my thumb. You'll have a list of collars. See, I'm going up and down on this list. The first collar I don't have connected right now. The other collar it does have connected, which means that I've turned it on and the red lights are blinking, right? So the handheld and the collar are aware of each other. So what I do now is I go to the collar that it has selected, or that it, that it knows about, which is this green one, and I press enter. This puts me into a menu about this collar. It tells me how much battery it has. It actually tells me a lot of stuff. Okay. It tells me that it's communicating with it. Uh, it tells me that it's got a good GPS signal, etc. Um, it tells me what its name is. Okay. Now, if I go and I press the menu button on my handheld, sorry about the light, but if I press the menu button, I get a special menu that only appears from here, right? This is the only way to get to this menu. So I've got stop tracking, identify dog unit, blah, 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 blah. But what I really want is to transfer the dog unit track. Okay, so I've selected that and I hit enter. It's connecting to the collar and it's downloading the data, okay? So what it's doing right now is it's actually taking the data from the collar 
and it's putting it on the handheld. It's almost done. Ready to communicate with PC. Press OK when finished downloading track data. OK, so I don't hit OK yet. So I'll go back to my PC here. And I'll hit Transfer, Receive from Device. OK, it's just telling me that's going to add all the data to the current document. That's fine. OK, once again, it's looking for the device, just like it did before. And there's my Astro. I hit receive. Data was successfully received. Okay, and it's basically telling me, hey, wait a minute, you already have this in your document. Do you want to replace it? I'll say yes. And here you can see that all of the, the track data off my, my dog collar, it just added all that junk down here. See all that? And you can see that some of this is pretty old because I haven't downloaded in a long time. So it looks like the oldest stuff is from 2012. Okay, so this is all dog collar data that I got, actually. Good. So from here to here, this is all dog collar data that I just got off. And now I can work with it just like I can with normal data. So if I actually want to get this out of this program and into another program, I go to File and I hit Save As. And there's a bunch of different options that it gives you in terms of the format. So you've got the Garmin database uh, format, which is actually very useful. And if you don't have a reason to take it out of this format, I recommend keeping it in that format. But the most general format that it lets you output is this GPX format. And you can take that GPX and you can put it in just about anything. So I'll give it the uninspired name, Untitled, right? Um, there's a problem with Garmin application. Okay, well, let's pretend that didn't happen. Haha. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.